Okay, unboxing video. I don't do a lot of unboxing videos. I'm not a big fan of unboxing videos, but we're gonna do one on this episode of Taking Off. Hey everyone, Dan Milliken here. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. This is an unboxing video, but you're gonna see pretty soon what it is. Now, full disclosure, I did not get this for free. And uh, this company needs no marketing help from me whatsoever. But I wanna show you what I'm about to get. Lola and I here, we sublease this space from a couple of nice guys who have this hangar here. And uh, they were really, really nice to me when I first got Lola. They had a tiller, I mean a real rototiller that you till the garden with. And we put some adapters on the front of that and that's how we moved Lola in and out. Because if you look here, it may be hard to tell in the video, but we've got pretty much a, a good downhill here. So when we're trying to go back up into the hangar, it is uphill. So then the rototiller had a lot of problems as rototillers moving planes might. And I went and found this um, used, uh, not too expensive, and uh, then it would keep popping off. It would do crazy things while I try to move it uphill. And uh, it's just really crazy. So now we are going to replace this. So here it comes. Okay, it's here. Let's open it. All right, first up, read the instructions. Lid will be marked with a spray painted red one. Mylar balloon with Skittles. Skittles is probably a good choice. It's not like uh, like Reese's peanut butter cups, which would probably be liquefied in the heat of Texas summers here. Ah, so cool, so excited. End of crate marked with spray painted two. It is that one. There's our two. Remove screws marked with blue paint. I don't see any blue paint. I see red paint, but not blue paint. Okay, I am a little confused here. Yeah, just so you know what it looks like inside. Just take a look here. Remove plastic wrap around control arm. Remove L handle pin from control arm before lifting control arm. Rotate into position. Take control arm to lowest operating position. Insert L handle pin to pin this. Okay, so it's a different pin. L series pin is different than what's here. On lateral sides of the crate, marked with red threes, remove the screws marked with red paint. This will remove the two by four board. Strap holding the cardboard box. This box holds the accessories that you need. Accessories. On the removed end of the crate, take the two two by fours and stack them on top of each other on the ground at the end of the crate. Place the removal end wall with the half inch plywood resting on the two by fours to create a ramp. This is such like an engineer. 
perfect ramp. No, the B5 comes with two 2x4s. Well, okay. Turn tug on by rotate, rotating E stop, red E stop on the end of the control panel clockwise and pushing the master switch to on. Alright, so here's what we do. Alright, so we're going to. Oh, clockwise. There it is, battery is 90%. Make sure the direction is set to cool and slowly twist the throttle to drive it out of the crate. Throttle operation. The throttle only rolls one direction. Similar to use push pull, we will pull. Touch your aircraft. Email cool pictures. Woo! Alright. Okay. So, we've got an air compressor. So, be able to air up the tires. That's super cool. Here's what's really important because this has happened to me at least once because I left the master on. So now I leave my beacon on so I know if I've left the master on. But this will charge my battery from the best tug. That's super cool. Not sure yet what this is, but we'll find out. And then the battery charger. Very cool. Let's get back to work. Alright, so now what do I do? Oh, okay, so we've got retractable gear attachment, carabiner, and axle strap. Okay, so I'm supposed to pull. I'm going to put this back together. Okay, number one, retractable gear adjustment, RGA, drops into the loading tray between the two brackets. Okay, to roll this up and I'm overthinking it. Oh, that's why you chalk the veins. That's what it is. Oh. Duh. I'm overthinking it. I'm trying to decide, what does this go to? In which case, it really doesn't matter. See what push looks like. Okay, so I'm not positive that I'm doing that right. I'm gonna have to find out and do some internet research. But overall, man, this is pretty cool. Here it is, we can go straight from there into there, and we can start if we're dead. So, check this out. USB. So I can charge my iPhone or GoPro while we do this. That's, that's, that's killing me, that's great. USB chargers, because I spend so much time on the deal. Now, um, I got to figure out how to charge it. We're already down to 84% and uh, there you go The best tug They don't need my marketing help um, This thing 
as it's clear sells itself they've got a huge long waiting list as the uh, manufacturing plant that they have is we've toured it's in a video you can watch it up there um, can attest to the quality is just phenomenal and uh, anyway I'm just super excited thanks for watching